Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am just kind of playing around with some new makeup that I got, also like old makeup. Just doing a new tutorial because I have not filmed in a little while, I haven't uploaded in a little while. So I just received the Anastasia Riviera, Riveri Riviera, whatever it is, palette. And I am so excited. The brush just fell out. Oh my God. But anyways, I'm sure you guys know what this palette looks like. It is beautiful. I'm so excited to have it and just do another colorful look. I also have like a couple of other like little products that I recently picked up that are drugstore and I'll talk about those a little bit later, but we'll just get straight into the makeup tutorial. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna start with my eyes, but I need to pin my hair back. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and I haven't used this one in a little while and I think it's because I didn't like it. I can't actually remember. Um, but today I'm gonna use the LA Girl Brow Pomade and mine is in the shade Soft Black. Um, but I am going to add in a little bit of the Inglot Dura Line just to make sure it's maybe a little bit more easier to use from memory, it wasn't very easy at all. So I'm just gonna apply a tiny little drop of that. I never use too much. If you guys can just see that little dot. Um, and then I'm just gonna start doing my eyebrows. Well, when you use the um, Dura line, like a little goes a long way, like that's for sure. I just, I can't remember my first impressions on this. So if you watch the video where I use this and my opinion has now changed, I'm assuming it's from the Dura line. I don't know. Okay, so that one dip has done basically my entire eyebrow. I was able to even like reshape it. So my opinion has definitely changed. By the way, I apologize if you can guys, if you guys can hear the rain it's getting really heavy and that's probably why the lighting is a little bit off i do have my lights on at the moment so i just apologize if there's just so much distraction <laughs> okay so then like once again just that small little dip filled my whole eyebrow in i haven't filled my brows in in a very long time so i am a little bit rusty Okay, so to um, conceal around my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with my Born This Way Multi-Sculpting Concealer. Yeah, that's what it's called um, by Too Faced. So on the underneath of my eyebrows, I'm going to use the shade Vanilla. And then on top, I'm going to go in with the Light Beige. I'm also just going to use that to um, prime my eyelids as well, just to get them ready. So now that the eyebrows and the lids are prepared, I am going to go in with the palette. I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to sit here for a few seconds, work out what I want to do, and then I'll come back to you guys. A few moments later. Okay, so I kind of have worked out what I want to do, and basically I feel like I'm going to use like a good 70% of the colors. I feel like the fact that I just want to try out as many as I possibly can. This is not an everyday palette for me, but for some it might be, which is why I want to try out as many colors as I possibly can. So I'm actually going for the first time to use the brush um, that Anastasia provides with the palette. I've never tried one of these, so hopefully it goes well. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is this one right here, which is called Cabana. It is definitely more of like a mustardy kind of color. It's a little bit washed out on camera. So I'm going to first go in with that one and put that all through my crease. So the second I tap into it, it is a little bit powdery, but it's definitely not like subculture, that's for sure. So far, I'm not a fan of this brush. It's a little, um, it's a little rough on my eyes. I don't know if that's normal with these brushes, but I'm going to switch. 
So I'm just gonna go in with one of my Morphe medium brushes, uh, blending brush, and I'm just gonna use that. Oh, that's so much better. So straight off the bat, I know straight away that these are amazing at blending. I have like no issues with blending these whatsoever, which is pretty much like majority of the Anastasia eyeshadows. Well, the ones that I've tried. I'm just gonna use a pencil brush to pack the color on a little bit more and then blend it out. Okay, so I have got that color on and it was really, really easy to build up. I just wanted to use another brush to kind of build it up a little bit more compared to my blending brush. So now that I have that color down, I'm going to go in with the dark brown of the palette, which is called Palm. And I'm just going to basically run that through my crease as well. I'm just not going to bring it up as high, just so there's a nice transition. So this one is definitely not as powdery when I touch it on the pan. Mind you, at the end of the video, I am going to show you guys what my palette looks like. I'm not going to dust anything off, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm done. So I'm just going to get that Palm color and I'm just going to start patting that on. With the pencil brush, I'm just going to start kind of popping it through my crease and everything. And I'm going to bring it all the way into my inner corner as well because I want that darkness there. So I'm just going to keep on building that color up and blending it out until I am happy. So I'm just going to go in with a small eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use that palm shade. So the dark brown and I'm just going to pop that all over my lid just so I have a bit more precision and I don't poke my eyeball out. Okay, so now that I have done that, I am loving this so far. These colors are amazing and super, super easy to blend out. Um, I am now going to go in with three shades on my lid. I don't know the order of what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of go along with it. But the first one will be this beautiful blue that caught my eye when I first saw this palette. Um, I'm then going to look at like this grayy kind of like... I don't know, it's like a gunmetal purple. Does that make sense? It's like a gray purple. And then this one down here. So this one is Mediterranean. And this is like a bluey, purpley gray. And I feel like all these colors are going to look beautiful together. So I'm gonna kind of do like a bit of a mixture. I think I'm gonna go in with the darkest color first, which was Mediterranean. So this color first, and then I might go in with Seaside, and then I'll go in with the really beautiful like aqua blue just on top. So I'm gonna start with the Mediterranean shade. So far, very glittery. was that I'm gonna try and wet my brush okay so much better when you wet the brush much better payoff so like in the pan it definitely looks a lot more blue but when you apply it to the lid it's so much more purple okay so now that I've got that color down I'm gonna go in with the seaside shade added like a little bit more silver I'm gonna wet my brush again just because I did wipe it off and we're gonna see how it applies wet it already looks a lot better on the brush yeah it definitely applies better when wet and I mean like that kind of sucks because you shouldn't really have to do that but I mean I already do that with a lot of my like shadows and stuff like that so I guess it's not the biggest deal breaker and now for the exciting part, I'm definitely going to wet my brush just straight up for this one. I'm going to go in with that beautiful 
bright blue. Oh my god, this one already looks so much, but whoa! So I only just tapped it in. I don't know if you can guys, you guys can see how much is on the brush. Wow, okay. I'm gonna put like half of that back. Oh my god, I love it. So easy to apply as well. And it's so pigmented, oh my god. Those ones were all really good. My favorite would have been Mediterranean, which was the first one, and then the blue one, which I just applied. The reason why I'm not saying the color is uh, the name is because I will butcher that, like I do with every name. So I'm going to start my face now, and then when we kind of get the face down, I'll move back onto the eyes and then finish my face off. Okay, so for primer today, I'm gonna go in with the Fifth Avenue Color Correcting Primer. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have like no fallout either. There's like nothing. So that's really good. I'm sure like the more I blink, however, there probably will be fallout from the, um, the glitter, but I do have an eyelash on my face. I really feel like using products that I haven't used in a really long time. So I feel like this video is going to turn into kind of like a first impressions review on some new products and the Riviera palette plus using products that I haven't used in a long time. So the title for this is gonna be long. In saying that, however, I really wanna try the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation again. When I used this in my last video, I hated it. It was literally horrible. I just, I didn't like it at all. So we're going to attempt to use that today. And I'm gonna go in with a brush this time for this foundation. I feel like when I use the sponge, it just, absorbed it like no tomorrow. Um, so I'm just going to be using a BH Cosmetics one angled brush. This is like a really big fluffy brush. So I feel like maybe this will be a bit better. I'm just going to start on one side. So that's basically like a pump and a half. Fingers crossed. Okay, so the brush is definitely making it a bit more textured. So we'll just kind of flatten that for a second. I think I need to use a different brush. So, so far it's a little bit better with not using the sponge, but I still am finding myself using it like so much on my face. So this is like another two pumps to cover the rest of my face, hopefully. Look, man, I don't know what it is with this damn foundation, but I've just tried two different brushes. I'm going in with my sponge just to try and like even it out and it's just not it's not cooperating anyways moving on to concealer i have a new concealer to try out today thank god um so chemist warehouse which is a pharmacy in australia don't i don't think it's anywhere else um so they brought out this brand called flower beauty i don't really know much about the brand but the prices i know a lot about they're super cheap like five ten dollars um and i found the flower what is this the Flower Light Inf Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, and I have mine in the shade Light. So let's try this out today. It literally smells like paint. It's kind of concerning. I like the Doe Foot Applicator because it's actually quite long, and I really like long Doe Foots. Now from experience, I'm going to just try this on one eye before I move on um, in case it dries really quickly. I don't need that in my life right now. Oh shit. Wow, that's actually really full coverage. 
that's like just as good as like my Too Faced one. Are you guys seeing this? Holy moly. That's so full coverage. Oh my God, I love it. I don't know if this effect, maybe I'm applying like half the bottle, but still, oh my goodness. It's so full coverage, holy crap. If anything, this is better than my Too Faced one. And this cost me literally like $7. I'm just putting a little bit more on because like I'm actually really in love. <laughs> Just covers everything up like immediately and it blends so good. Wow, so Flower Beauty first impressions are like amazing. Amazing. So I have a few more things, well, two more things from Flower Beauty. Um, I have the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. This one says that it minimizes the appearance of imperfections. My whole face is an imperfection. Um, and it has an ambient glow. It's a miracle worker. Our Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder sets your makeup with a veil um, of subtle radiance. Our satin formula absorbs oil and smooths the skin with a soft focus effect. Micro pearl pigments diffuse light for an ambient glow, providing the ultimate finish touch to your makeup. Sounds good to me. So keep in mind, if you do buy this, the packaging is a little deceiving. It has like this giant ass lid and that's why I bought, that's why I bought it because I thought it was huge. But it's not. That's okay. We're just going to try this anyways. I'm just going to check that concealer for creasing. There's no creasing. Holy crap. There's no creasing at all. So I'm going to go in with that Flower Beauty powder. And I'm going to pop that underneath my eyes. I'm going to get a decent amount to bake. Oh! Oh! Wow, okay. It is very, very glowy, but it's like a beautiful glow. Man, I'm okay to have this under my eyes. This is nice as. I don't know if you guys can see, like it's a little bit glowy, like just here. That is really beautiful. I actually adore that. I'm gonna set my whole face with this today. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this all over and we'll just see how glowy it really can be because I'm like loving this right now. So far, I'm not going to lie, my skin looks very smooth, even though I have quite a lot of pimples at the moment. I'm going to go straight back onto my eyes now. Okay, okay, so I'm going to go in with the purple from the palette. This one's called Cans or something like that. I don't even know. Now, I know purples are very hard to do, and I know they're hard to master, but so far this one's powdery, but like not too powdery. Does that make sense? Um, I'm just going to run this from inner corner to outer corner, and then I'm gonna probably use another color. We'll see how we go. Okay, so now that I got that purple on and I'm actually really loving it with everything that's going on at the moment, um, I'm going to go in with the shade Monte, Monte Carlo, which is this really pretty pink right here. If you guys can see it, I'm sorry. Um, and I'm going to use that to blend out the purple shade. Now, this one's a lot, a lot more powdery. Jesus. For my inner corner highlight, I don't know if I should be subtle or I go in with the Inheritance shade, which is that beautiful gold. I'm going to go in with the shade Inheritance. Whatever, we're doing it. We've come this far. I'm just 
going to drag the gold like a little bit down onto my lower lash line because I feel like purple and gold just go so well together. I think for my brow bone highlight, I'm just going to go in with the Yacht shade, which is like this muted kind of gold. And I'll just use a little tiny bit of that just to kind of highlight. This is what the palette looks like after I've used it. And then you can kind of see like the powder sitting in these ones. I also use this color up here and this one here, but you can't really tell with that one. Um, but overall the palette isn't very dirty. So we are going to move on to the rest of the face now and try out some other products. Okay, so a palette that I have not used in maybe years um, is the Astralis AC on tour highlighting and contouring palette. Oh my God, the days of this. Can you tell which color I used the most? <laughs> I actually used to use this one here for my eyebrows. I know. Okay, that actually blends quite nicely. Not gonna lie. It's not bad. And I'm pretty sure I've never actually used this for my contouring. Like, I don't think I have ever. I don't remember. I feel like it's gone a little bit muddy on my forehead. So another contouring palette I haven't used in a long time is the one by DB Cosmetics. Um, but I'm actually going to use this one for my bronzing shade, even though it just looks exactly the same. It's definitely not the most pigmented, but it's easy to build up. Um, okay, so for a blush that I haven't used in a long time, I have the Malibu Glitz Blusher, and this is in the shade 6. I used to use this all the time, but then, I don't know, I just stopped. Just apply a little bit of that. I'm just going to use the same brush that I used to bronze, so it kind of blends a bit better. But I'm loving this glow powder. Even though I look oily, I'm actually not. I'm just, like, really glowy. Okay, so now onto the exciting part. I have a highlighter from Flower Beauty. So it comes with three highlighters in here. So it has a really gold one, if you can see it. It has a pink one and then like a champagne color. I'm gonna mix the gold and the champagne color today and I'm just going to apply that as normal. I just, like I swear on my life, I just touched the pan. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Well... Like this highlighting trio, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. Oh my God, it's actually amazing. Like I'm in love. So for a lip color that I haven't used in a while, I might have to go in with another one because I feel like this might be too pale. Um, this is the Astralis Velour Lips and this one's in the shade Paris. And this is kind of like a pinky nude. So I'm going to use this one. I might go in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick, if that's what it's called. Um, and this one's in the shade Beauty Mark. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on and then kind of like blend it in. And then going with a setting spray that I haven't used in a little while, I have the Essence Instant Matte. So I'm just going to pop that on. 
Okay guys, and that is the completed look for today. Um, I am very impressed with the Riviera palette, which is what I already mentioned. I'm definitely going to be using this again. All of the Flower Beauty products were absolutely amazing. I can't pick a favorite. Anyways guys, that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video if you thought it was good or you just liked it. I don't know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be back and uploading again a lot more now that I'm, I guess, just back into it. Um, and I will be making a lot more videos. Uh, but until then, you guys, I will see you on my next video. Bye.